Hi, Hazel here. This is how you can use the high frequency mode of LFO1 of the UDO Super 6. So I'm going to start off with this kind of sine wave, really simple based patch, just DDS1 for now. Now if I set LFO1 to high frequency mode, you can hear this other tone comes in and that's because it's operating at a frequency high enough to be audible. And if you change the rate, you change the pitch. Now you can hear that the pitch doesn't change as you change keys on the keyboard. And that could be quite useful for a kind of drone type effect. Got a little bit of DDS2, which is actually pitched two octaves higher. It's worth noting that LFO1 will default to a sine wave in high frequency mode. So it's most audible when DDS1 and 2 are also set to sine wave. If you change to something a little bit richer, then LFO1 becomes a, a bit subtler. Now, if I were to set LFO1 to high frequency tracking, what this does is now the note is changing as, as you change the notes. And you could tune this to match the note and just give extra depth to it. And you get this kind of natural beating like you would with DDS2 as well. You could also tune an octave away. And when I bring in DDS2, which is another octave above DDS1, then you get quite an interesting, almost organ type sound because of all those overtones. Or you could get a bit more creative and just change the note completely. What is also great about LFO1 is that you can use it in high frequency mode, but also use it as a modulation source at the same time. And that's where you can tap into frequency modulation, i.e. FM, and also sounds that are quite akin to ring modulation. For example, So here LFO1 is modulating the frequency of both DDS1 and 2. So you're getting this FM behaviour. And you can experiment with the amount that you modulate. Now if you were to modulate the amplitude of the VCA with LFO1, you get a similar kind of bell-like sound, but a bit subtler, but you can obviously play around with the, the amount and with different waveforms. And a similar effect is if you were to modulate the frequency of the filter with LFO1. And of course, all of these can change when you change the pitch or the rate rather of LFO1. And it's quite good for more percussive sounds as well, because it becomes a bit less pitch specific. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.